Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can connect a Squarespace domain to your WordPress site. And for this, I will be using this online guide since I myself am currently not able to connect my Squarespace domain to WordPress. So I'll be using this just so that I can show you guys how it is done. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add your domain to your Squarespace site. To do this, you're going to need to copy your domain name, which you're going to do by going into your Squarespace site, clicking on settings and going into domains and email, clicking domains and the domain that you want should be right here at the bottom. Now, as you can see, this is a built in domain. You're going to need a premium domain or a purchase domain to actually be able to connect it to uh, Squarespace since you do or to WordPress since you do need some additional settings, which I don't have access to. As you can see, this is all I have. But yeah, well, once you copy this name, you're going to go ahead and go into WordPress again, click add domain, click use a domain I own, then click next and select the button next to the connect your domain and click start setup right over here. Now, once you click that, you're going to need to update the name servers yourself uh, by just adding the uh, name servers for WordPress.com, which are these here, ns.1, uh, ns1 or ns2 or ns3.wordpress.com. You're going to need to add all three. Then you're going to need to log into your Squarespace, go into your domain list, and then go manage domain settings. As you can see, this is what I don't have access to. Then once you're there in the manage domain settings, click the edit button next to name servers, and then copy over the name servers from your wordpress.com. You're going to need to use custom name servers and then just copy over these. Once you've, you're done with that, you're going to need to save that and contact Squarespace support so that they allow your domain to use custom name servers, uh, which point to these name servers, which you've added twice already. And then you're going to need to wait for the changes to update. And then when it says active, you're going to need to go ahead and set that new domain as your primary domain. And once you're done with that, that is basically the entire process. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.